hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be editing this amazing photo and before i start i want to say that most people watching my videos don't subscribe to my channel that's why i've not been able to make many new videos like every day i've been waiting for months or weeks to make a video because i feel like most people don't support me by liking or subscribing to my channel So the first thing you have to do for a picture like this is to reduce the brightness of the face. So just select your lasso tool. Once you select your lasso tool, just draw around the face. You can see what I'm doing. Draw around the face. Once you draw around the face, right click, then you select your fader. Now for the fader reduce, we want to make the fader reduce to 33. I'll just reduce this brightness like this using my curves. Remember, you have to press Ctrl M on your keyboard. Once you press Ctrl M on your keyboard, your curves is just going to open. We want to also increase the brightness for every part of the image. So I'll just press Ctrl M again to increase the exposure. I'll just come here to drag it up. Once I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. So now what we are going to do now is to create our frequency separation if you are watching my previous video you already know how to create frequency separation so i'm just going to merge these two layers together and i'll press ctrl j and i'll press ctrl j again for this first layer we'll just rename it to one then for the second layer we'll rename it to two once we're done renaming it we'll just turn off the one layer go to the second layer go to filter blur then Gaussian blur for the Gaussian blur reduce just select five once you are done selecting five go to the one layer and turn it on then you go to image then you look for apply image once you look for apply image just look at what I will do in my settings go to layer select two as the layer channel RGB blending mode subtract once you select blending mode subtract you see the scale two offset one to eight look at my settings don't use another settings do what i did in this particular settings so once you are done just click on ok and once you are done clicking on ok change the blending mode to linear light so once you have changed the blending mode to linear light go to the layer that you renamed to right click on it then you convert to smart object the next thing you have to do is to go to filter blur then you select gaussian blur now for this gaussian blur reduce you can increase it to 52 once we are done just click on ok you will see that a smart filter layer is just going to show just left click on it then you press ctrl i on your keyboard if you don't want to do this long process you can always get dirty studio magic retouching pack once you get that pack you'll be able to do all this long process in one second you'll just be able to go to actions then you will see this dirty studio magic retouching pack and the rest action pack so just click on frequency separation and you'll be able to play it and get this result so once you're done select your brush once you select your brush you zoom in your image now use your brush to start painting on the skin so just paint on this area you can see the results is cleaning the skin and making the skin look amazing you can see what's happening to the skin your foreground color should be white make sure it is white so you'll be able to apply that effect on the skin but if it is black you'll be able to remove the effect from the skin if you make mistake just press x on your keyboard to change it to black then you can remove what you have done on the image why if it's white you'll be able to add what you are doing to the image if you also make mistake you can use your ctrl z on your keyboard to go back and remove the mistake so we are just going to remove it from this area because it's making the area to look white i'll just use my brush to apply it at this section of the hand you can see what i'm doing you don't need to apply it too much so you don't spoil the skin then once i'm done with the hand let's move to this uh, elbow area now some of you always complain that the result is giving you harsh like black things on the skin you can see that there's white or black things on the skin also in my image so just paint at the middle of the skin forget the edges remove it from the edges and continue applying it on the skin and you'll be able to fix your image without having issue so once i'm done with this back and let's just paint this back once i'm done i'll go to this other area and paint it also let's paint at the middle because it looks somehow 
so for this hand also i'll just paint this section of our hand and we are done let's just remove it from this area now the next thing i want to do is to focus on the face so i'll just select my brush and paint on the face don't worry about the dark results we'll be able to fix it later now what i want to do next is to match all these layers together and reduce the opacity so i'll just go to the background layer press ctrl j on my keyboard once i press ctrl j i will hold ctrl and shift click on the one to highlight all the layers together and press ctrl e this is the before and this is the after well you can see that the result is too much on the skin we want to reduce it so what you have to do is to just go to your opacity area and reduce the opacity so i'll just reduce it to be around 90. once i'm done i will just merge all the layers together let's just merge these layers together press ctrl e now i want to do the other skin smoothing process for you the reason I'm doing this other skin smoothing process is because of these edges. You can see the edges of a hand is not looking smooth. So what you have to do is that press Ctrl J on your keyboard. Once you have pressed Ctrl J, just press Ctrl I. Then you will see that your image is just going to invert. So once you have pressed Ctrl I, the next thing you have to do is to go to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur. Now for the Gaussian Blur Reduce, you can leave the Gaussian Blur Reduce to be around 5. Then you click OK. The next thing you have to do is to go to Filter. But before then, just head to your Blending Mode option. Change it to Linear Light. Once you have clicked on this area and change the Blending Mode to Linear Light, go to Filter, Order. Then you look for High Pass. So once you have clicked on the High Pass, you will see that your image is just going to change and for the high pass we have to select 10 for the high pass so for the high pass just select 10 you can see that your image skin is just going to smooth as in the whole skin is just going to look as if it is smooth so for the high pass let's leave it to 10. so once i'm done selecting 10 for the high pass i'll just click ok and you will see that the layer area is just going to change now hold alt on your keyboard alt and click on add layer max then once you are done select your brush so i'll just paint on these edges because i didn't want to use that old frequency separation method on the skin of the edges part because it's giving black results so i'll just use the skin smoothing process to paint on these edges remember you can do this in one second using dirty studio magic retouching pack you don't need to follow through this long process let's also paint the hand you can see what's happening to the hand i'm painting this area i'm also painting this part of her body and let's also smooth this area you can see that the skin is looking perfect i forgot the face you can use your brush to just paint the face i think there are some stray hairs on this face that we need to fix let's also paint this part now let's remove it from this area this is the before and this is the after i want to merge these two layers together the reason i'm merging this layer is that i want to remove those unwanted hair from her face so what i'm just going to do here is that i will use my patch tool once i click on the patch tool i'll just select this hair area and drag it down and also select this area and drag it down you can see the result i'll just go to this three hair section drag it like this you can see the use of this patch tool you can use it to fix all the stray hairs or the blemishes in the face i think we are done with the stray hair the before and the after but we want to also fix the forehead because the wig is looking somehow so you can use your clone stamp tool click on your clone stamp tool hold alt on your keyboard let's click on the good part then you can paint this bad part and we want to blend this area the reason i'm doing this is to blend this area because of the wig this is the before and this is the after you can see so what i want to do here now is to open my camera raw filter so i'll just press ctrl shift a on my keyboard to open the camera raw filter and once the camera raw filter is open we want to do just little settings so for the color you can reduce the temperature a little bit for the tint you can increase the tint to plus eight for the vibrance you can bump the vibrance to 57 if you like the saturation there's no need to increase the saturation for the effect 
let's just increase the clarity to be around 24. Remember, most of my settings are the same as in my camera raw settings. If you check my previous video, you'll see I always do the same camera raw filter settings. Now for the DHS, I can bump it up a little bit to plus 3. Once I'm done, let's just go to the curves area. Increase the dark, as in we don't want too much dark on our image. Okay, on the shadows, I don't want the shadows to be too much. So let me just reduce the shadows by increasing the number. And once I'm done with this area, let's go to the details. Now for some picture, if your picture has too much noise, you can go to noise reduction and increase it to help reduce the noise if there's too much details on the image like too much noise so let's just leave the noise to be around 24 or let's leave the noise to be around 22. now don't increase the noise of your own image because it might make the image to look smooth or something like that so don't increase the noise for your image unless there's too much noise on the image for the color grading let's just make the highlights to be blue then for the shadows let's make it to be red or purple the emitting should be blue i think we are now done with this image now the image looks better so once you are done with the camera or filter you can click on ok and once you click on ok you will see that your image is just going to change and your image is just going to look better this is the before and this is the after you can see that our image is now looking better so what i'm just going to do here is to press ctrl g then go to create new filler adjustments layer then i'll go to vibrance and reduce the vibrance and reduce the saturation and i'll just click on this area and press ctrl i then i'll select my brush once i select the brush i'll just reduce the size make sure my foreground color is white zoom in the eye and i want to remove those yellow from the eye you can see what i'm doing to the eye i want to remove the yellow because i don't like the eye being yellow so i just reduce the saturation from the eye and i can also reduce the opacity so you can reduce the opacity if you like then i will just merge all these layers together so if you want to adjust the skin tone also, you can watch some of my previous videos where I talked about how to adjust the skin tone to make the skin tone look better. Or you can go to Dirty Studio Magic Retouching Pack. If you just go to my retouching pack, you will see even skin tone. You can click the link in the description of this video to get Dirty Studio Magic Retouching Pack. So you can click on this even skin tone, select your brush, just increase the size of your brush once you have increased the size of your brush then you can paint on these areas that you want to add more skin tone you can see what's happening to the face once i apply the skin tone to the face the face is now looking better now let's look at the before and the after for all what we have done on this particular image this is the before and this is the after let's zoom in our image the before and the after the before and the after let's zoom in the face also this is the before and the after let's zoom out our image to look at her laps area the before and the after now let's look at the before and the after for the full body this is the before and this is the after don't forget to like this video and subscribe and also if you want free raw files that you can use to practice or post on social media if you're a retoucher and you don't have a digital camera and you want free raw files you can visit www.dirtystudio.com or click the link in the description of this video to visit my website and you'll be able to get many free raw files that you can use for practice and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out